wallow in their spite, staring past the depths which I have always seen, waiting since my childhood with bated breath as the years go by. But what sense is it to make a decision when everything you do is a means to the same end? Two things happen when I am extremely stressed out. I want to sleep and masturbate. Sometimes at the same time. A few times I have woken up in the middle of a masturbation dream only to find myself grinding my groin all over the mattress. Life mimics art, I suppose. The art is the fuck. Lies within twisted, mangled limbs and desperation of college girls trying hard to get fucked when all they have to do is show up. Fat girls everywhere pretending they're Betty Page, mercifully forgetting that Betty Page was skinny. But everyone loves a dumb girl who will laugh at everything they say. Carelessly holding a long island in one hand, fixing their hair with the other, and the men watching the girl's throats shift as she chokes down her drink, dreaming of contorting throat. Everything is sex, everything's mundane. But what's more offensive, the violence? Or the sex. I feel like my bones are melting. Every imperfection unavoidably rearing its ugly head. The wretchedness just beginning to be loved. When I would rather vomit directly in its face than hold its hand. For some reason, everything seems seedier in print. And they're approaching, shouting, screaming, actually. It comes in waves of twos and threes, where once they looked like writing maggots, all mucusy, spitting, squirming. Strings of guts oozing out between their teeth. Clenching their jaws for the death blow. And the stadium laughs at their pathetic lump of nothingness, whimpering on the floor like a child that's wet itself and is actually aware of the embarrassment.